Now let us see the chemical reactions of alkyl and aryl halides. Now we will in this first category we will see the reactions of haloalkanes or alkyl halides. Alkyl halides mainly shows three types of reactions which are called nucleophilic substitutions, elimination reactions and the reactions with metals. Now in the list the first is the nucleophilic substitution reactions. See we know that the alkyl halides basically are having what polar CX bond. If we can introduce a nucleophile, this nucleophile will definitely will attack this electron deficient carbon and will replace this X minus. Now this X minus will come out as a leaving group as a halide ion and the nucleophile will take its place and the, therefore the reaction is called nucleophilic substitution reaction. So it will be somehow like this. The nucleophile is not there and X minus is out. Now, what we need to know is these reactions of alkyl halides are their characteristic reactions. And they are very valuable reactions in the organic chemistry. The reason is being because with the help of these reactions, we can introduce a lot of different groups on carbon chain. So what I mean is a lot of different types of nucleophilic substitution reactions are shown. Now let us see what all those types are. Like we can do substitution by KCN, AGCN. Now whenever the substitution is done, like suppose we have ethyl bromide is done by using KCN, in this case the CN is, is the minus nucleophile we have, it replaces the BR and what we get is KBR and propane nitrile. So what we get actually is, is the product called cyanides. So from alkyl light, therefore we can prepare cyanides. This was your ethyl bromide. Now when the same ethyl bromide is reacted with AgCN, silver cyanide, what we get is ethyl iso cyanide and AgBr. So that's the basic differences that in case of KCN we get cyanide whereas when we are reacting the same alkaline with AgCN we get isocyanide. See we need to know this cyanide or this isocyanide, both are the same. Such, such nucleophiles are called ambident nucleophiles because they can attack from carbon as well as from nitrogen. Now when the attack is from carbon, cyanide is formed, we call it cyanide. If the attack is from nitrogen, we, we, we get isocyanide. So therefore, we can form both of these the cyanides as well as isocyanides. So this is one type of nucleophilic substitution, one example of nucleophilic substitution where we are replacing the halides by cyanides or by isocyanides. We can take one more, exa more examples. The other example is substitution by silver nitrite and potassium nitrite. See, whenever we have, again, let us take ethyl chloride. If we treat this with potassium nitrite, what we get is nitritoethane. This is called nitritoethane plus KBr. Whereas, if we have the same alkyl chloride, with silver nitrite, what we get is nitroethane plus AgCl. So see this is again is very similar to what we have done in case of cyanide and isocyanide that potassium nitrite gives us nitritoalkane and silver nitrite gives us nitroalkane. 
again nitrite ion is an ambident nucleophile where attack can takes place from this oxygen so if this takes place from oxygen we get nitrito and if it takes place through nitrogen we get nitrito so both of these can be uh, any one of these can be used and accordingly if we, if we are using potassium nitrite we will get nitrito alkane if we are using silver nitrite we will be getting nitro alkane so this type of substitutions are again possible so we can prepare nitro compounds also from the alkyl halides then we can also do the substitution by hydride which is also called reduction now any alkyl halide when reacted with lithium aluminium hydride which supplies h minus ion what we get is rh plus lix and alx so this is what we get now the arh obtained means we get corresponding alkane so if we are having ethyl bromide and we react this with lithium aluminium hydride what we get is ethane and lithium bromide plus aluminium bromide so this is again is a which is a reduction is basically done by what substituting the halide ion by the h minus ion hydride ion then we can do the substitution by or minus which is also called alkoxide ion see this reaction basically is called williamson synthesis you will be doing it later on in uh, ethers part but here is just the simple technique that if we are having an alkyl halide and we treat this with the sodium alkoxide so we know this alkoxide is ro minus na plus i am putting up r dash because i we just wanted to differentiate this r from this r so what we get is r o r dash so ethers are the product of this and we get nax the simplest of this is that we have what ethyl bromide and reacted this with ethyl sodium ethoxide sodium ethoxide which on reaction with this forms what diethyl ether and what we get is sodium bromide so that's again is one type of substitution then we can do substitution by ammonia now if we do the substitution by ammonia we call it uh, hoffman's exhaustive ammono lysis see in this what we find is when any alkyl halide like this methyl bromide is treated with ammonia if ammonia is taken in excess what we get is methyl bromide sorry methylamine and hbr ammonia being a nucleophile replaces this bromine with as a bromide ion now if we have suppose if rx is in excess mixture of different amines are obtained what we get is if we have it methyl bromide with ammonia we get methylamine with plus hbr this methylamine will again react with this is primary amine we we'll again react with ethyl bromide this will give us dimethylamine plus hbr secondary amine now the secondary amine will again react the secondary amine will again react 
with one more ethyl, uh, methyl bromide to form this secondary to form this tertiary amine plus HBr. Even the reaction will not stop here at this stage, it will continue. What we will get is this tertiary this tertiary amine will again react with one molecule of ethyl bromide, methyl bromide to form this quaternary quaternary ammonium bromide 4 degree. So, in this way we get a mixture of first degree, second degree, third degree and fourth degree amine that is why this reaction is even can't be used to prepare any particular amine. But yes, if we take ammonia in excess we mainly get the primary amine as one of the product or the major product. So, we can form yes alkyl amines from alkyl halides. Now, we can do the substitution by aqueous KOH or NaOH also. Now, when any alkyl halide is treated with aqueous KOH, the nucleophile is, is your hydroxyl ion which replaces the X. So, what we get is corresponding alcohol. So, corresponding alcohol is formed which is again is a very useful reaction and this is how we can prepare what we can prepare alcohols from alkyl halides. We can also prepare higher alkynes by this nucleophilic substitution reaction. You might have done this reaction in class 11 if you remember by sodium acetylides. So, when these sodium acetylides are reacted with if let us take this one as H not any other one sodium acetylide. So, when this Rx is treated taken with this sodium acetylide plus minus triple bond CH what happens is this acetylide acts as a nucleophile and what we get is RC triple bond CH. So, higher alkyne is the product which is obtained NAX. Suppose we have ethyl bromide and we treat this with sodium acetylide what we get is CH3, CH2, C triple bond, CH. So, what we get is but 1 I and we get NABR. So, this is how we can do so many substitutions and we can prepare higher alkynes, we can prepare alcohols, we can prepare cyanides, we can prepare amines, we can prepare alcohols. So, all these sort of compounds can easily be prepared from these compounds alkyl halides. Now, let us understand the mechanism of this reaction. Now, as per the mechanism of this reaction, what we find is the nucleophilic substitution reactions are of two types. The first one is called SN2 reaction. Now, it means the nucleophilic substitution reactions of second order bimolecular reactions. A very simple example is like suppose I am having this compound which is nothing but, but is a ethyl bromide where one of the H has been replaced by the heavy hydrogen deuterium. Now why I have done this because this becomes now what optically active so it will be either plus or minus. Now when this is treated with any nucleophile suppose it is treated with KCN. Now, the reaction takes place, the cyanide will replace the bromine. What we get is suppose we the compound if drawn is like this, we get cyanide out of this plus KBr. What is interesting to note is this, that this compound will be either minus or plus. So, what happens is, if it is a dextrorotatory compound, the product obtained will be levorotatory and if it is levorotatory, the, the uh, the product will be dextrorotatory. So, the inversion of the configuration takes place. Now, how this reaction takes place is let us see in the mechanism. 
The first step Kcn breaks down when the moment it is given the polar medium into K plus and Cn minus. Now what happens is, is we have this compound, this ethyl bromide. We know this bond is already very much polar and we have introduced a cyanide nucleophile. Now we know the cyanide cannot attack this electron deficient carbon from the front side because of the strong repulsions which it will be facing from this halogen, halide ion, halide halogen which is attached. So what it does is it does a back attack. When it does a back attack, we get a transition state sort of a thing like this in which what we find is This transition state takes place, is formed. Now what happens is, now uh, this transition state is highly unstable because carbon is pentavalent. In this cyanide is approaching the carbon and the bromide is going out. So what we find is next to this is, is this compound NC. with somehow H, D and CH3 like this and Br minus goes out. Now what do you find the difference in this and this is? Due to this back attack, whole of the configuration gets inverted. It becomes just the opposite. It gets just, it was like this, it becomes like this, it gets inverted. That is why if this is plus or minus, it becomes minus. So the stereochemistry of this type of reaction, what we find is, since there is no carbocation formation in this, since there is as such no intermediate, no rearrangements are possible in these, these reactions, if the reaction is mechanism is going like this, and inversion of the configuration of the reactants is, 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 takes place. That's why this is called, the very special name is given, is called Walden inversion. Inversion means the configuration which is there in the reactant becomes just opposite in the product. And it is an example of a stereospecific reaction, the reason being we know that which, which uh, optically active species will be formed during this reaction. So that is what is the mechanism of this reaction is. Now what you need to know is what which all type of alkyl halides will show this reaction. Remember, only primary alkyl halides will be showing this kind of reaction. The reason is because they can't form carbocation. So only primary alkyl halide can show. Secondary may or may not can show this because it depends on the molecular system and the condition which we are giving them. Other than this, it is very sure that all primary alkyl halide shows this type of mechanism and they show substitution reaction by this mechanism. The second type of the nucleophilic substitution reaction mechanism wise is called SN1 reaction. See, it is the reaction as the name says, it is a nucleophilic substitution reaction of first order or it's a unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction. Now, the, let us take example to explain this. Let us take this compound in which the central carbon is an A car asymmetric carbon atom is a chiral molecule it is because all the four groups present on it are different this makes it either plus or minus it is treated with potassium cyanide the same uh, the nucleophile i'm introducing now the compound of formed is c6h5c methyl ethyl we get a cyanide of this now the compound obtained is KBr of course is plus minus. What does it mean? mean? It is it is a resmic mixture. So what you find is whether it is dextro or levo, the product is a resmic mixture. A mixture of one is to one ratio of the plus and minus isomers, or the, when the n isomers are present in one is to one ratio, it's called resmic mixture. Now, it shows in spite of being optically active compounds, zero optical rotation because both of these are present in equal ratio and their uh, optical rotations gets cancelled by each other. Now, what is most important to note in this case is, 
is the mechanism. Now it goes like this that the Kcn breaks down into K plus and Cn minus. Now Cn minus is a nucleophile which is generated and this happens in the polar medium because that's the only one which can support the formation of these nucleophiles and electrophiles. Now when this compound is also subjected to or exposed to the polar medium, it on its own dissociates to form this tertiary carbocation. See this bond was already polar, the bromide goes out automatically on its own forming bromide ion and we get tertiary carbocation. The example taken in Mitch by me is also having this benzylic carbocation, this one. Now what is what we find is this is highly stable carbocation, this you have done in your class 11th. As a result this reaction, see this involves equilibrium I can say right this, but since the product is much more stable than the reactant what happens is always goes in the forward direction. Now this, S, this carbocation is, is sp2 hybridized, it's planar in structure. So the nucleophilic attack on this, on this uh, uh, the carbocation carbon, the sp2 hybridized carbon can take place from top as well as from bottom. So if it takes place from top side, it goes down, the, all the other bonds goes down. If it goes, uh, 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 attack is from the downward side, they go, all goes up. So what we get is in this case is, Therefore, when the nucleophile, the Cn minus attacks on this, both the possibilities are there. Both the possibility me means dextro or levo, both are formed with equal amount. Now, as discussed in the previous example of SN2, and in this case in SN1, these are the ray determining steps in which the intermediates or the transition states are formed. In the earlier case, since there were two molecular species involved in the ray determining step, that's why there were, that was called bimolecular reaction. In this case, since this is the ray determining step, the slowest step, as we have done in the case of molecularity in kinetics also. And since only one alkyl halide, only one reactant is involved, it's called a first order unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction. And this is what is the product obtained, and it will be a resmic mixture because plus and minus will be formed in 1 is to 1 ratio. So what we find this reaction to be stereochemically is, is this that the stereochemistry of the reaction is that it's a stereoselective reaction of course and it involves, it involves resomization inversion and retention, all three, huh? See, resumization is the formation of the resumic mixture. So, resumization is taking place. It in involves inversion because if it is a plus, it, the 50 percent becomes minus. So, inversion of the configuration is taking place. Retention, if it is plus, 50 percent is retaining the same configuration. So, it is retention. So, resumization, inversion, retention, all these three things are happening in this reaction. And this is what is the chemistry, stereochemistry of this SN1 reaction. Is. What you need to know is now is this, that which, what, which all type of alkyl halides will be showing this, this type of reaction. Remember, which are capable of forming the carbocations on their own. So, tertiary alkyl halides, allylic alkyl halides and benzylic alkyl halides will very easily will be able to form what very stable allylic, benzylic and tertiary carbocations. So they are the on, or ones which always shows or always shows nucleophilic substitution reaction by what SN1 mechanism. Whereas the primary ones will show by SN2 and secondary can show any one of these depending upon the condition which we give, always gives them. The second type of reactions which alkyl light shows are called elimination reactions. As the name indicates, some molecular species, the smaller one will be actually being eliminated out from the alkyl halides. Now, these are the reactions which takes place when alkyl halides having what? Beta hydrogen, this is the carbon which is having halogen is called alpha and the next one is called beta, is treated with what? Alcoholic KOH. Then what happens is, dehydro 
halogenation takes place. So, we, we lose this halogen as well as beta hydrogen. So, both are lost giving what an alkene of course, KVR and water. Now, what happens is for the first you need to know what is alcoholic KOHs. Alcohol is KOHs when KOHs dissolve in ethanol. So, what we have is in this case is the ethoxide ion as the main the nucleophile. It is not here acting as a nucleophile, it acts here as a very strong base. Now, this base, of course, uh, what we get is potassium outside this and water. Now, this strong base is the one which is mainly responsible for taking out what the beta hydrogen, which is actually being through hyperconjugation is giving electron to the alpha 1 and showing plus i effect. So, the moment we subject this alkyl halide to this very strong ethoxide base, what happens is this goes out, this will be going out, this comes in and what we get is, is ethene plus Br minus. So, this is how the elimination reaction takes place. Now, in this elimination reaction, a very important rule is being followed, which is called Sidzaf rule. Now, that Sidzaf rule says, that if we have, suppose, this secondary butyl bromide and it is subjected to alcoholic KOH, the sets of rule says during dehydrohalogenation, more substituted alkene is preferred. So, what happens is this one is having beta or both on the right and as well as on the left hand side. We can get two products. Yes, it can be like suppose if the elimination is from this beta, we call it B product. From this, if it is, we will call it A product. So, the two possible products we get are like CH3, CH double bond, CH, CH3. This is product A and this is product B, CH3, CH2, CH double bond, CH2. Now, which will be the major product? Of course, this will be the major product. The reason being, this is more substituted alkene. It will, it will be having six hyperconjugating structures, whereas this will be having only two hyperconjugating structures. So, it will be formed in a very, very small amount minor, but yes, this will be the preferred one and this is how the, the elimination reaction takes place.